สวัสดีค่ะทุกคน Welcome back to Banana Thai Channel with c h r i s m o k your Thai teacher. And in this video, I would like to teach you Thai tones and also give you all the tips and techniques in order to finally be able to pronounce the five Thai tones correctly. Before we get started with the concept of tone, I want you to learn this concept of pitch or pitches. Basically, it's just more like a different frequency of the sound, from low pitch, mid pitch to high pitch. Here, the first thing that I want you to do is to create your pitch window. Let's start with the first one, mid pitch. Mid pitch for me would be the most comfortable sound that I could pronounce. Basically, more like a sound that I'm talking, naturally talking like this. So my mid pitch would be more like. Ma. Come to this point, I want to mention that your mid pitch not necessary has to match mine. My mid pitch is ma. I have more like a higher range of my natural pitch, and if you are a male speaker, your mid pitch might be lower. So again, my mid pitch and your mid pitch doesn't have to be the same pitch. All right. Now we create our personal pitch window. After I got the most comfortable pitch, now I want to find the second one, which is the low pitch. Like when I speak something or when I say something, when I'm a bit sad or feel like bored, so I speak a little bit more lower. So it's more like ma, ma, ma. Okay. So look, ma, 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 ma. You see the differences, right? Now come to the last one. The high pitch is the pitch when I'm excited. I speak a bit higher, so it's more like ma, 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 ma. Compare all of the pitches. Ma, 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 ma. One thing that I want to also mention is that don't think about pitch as the notes in music. Your pitch, your comfortable pitch, doesn't have to match, you know, the the notes in the music scale. It doesn't have to match all this. As long as you feel comfortable pronouncing, then they are right. I already found my three pitches, so do you. So let's move on to the next concept of tone. Tone is the movement of a sound in the different pitches. It can be in the same pitch or in the different pitches. Let's see this example of tone. The starting point and the ending point. There are always a starting point and the ending point. For example, let's start from here. Mid pitch, ma. So let's pronounce this word all the way straight along the mid pitch, ma. Ah, straight sound. Ma, ma. This one is actually the first tone of Thai. We call it mid tone or flat tone. Ma. There is also the movement of the sound in the different pitches. Doesn't have to be the same pitch. It can be in a different pitch. For example, start high. Ma, and in low. Ma, 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 and this is the third tone. Nah, of the five tones, no, this is the falling tone. Nah, so as you can see, the pitch doesn't have to go straight like this, but it can also go from up and down. Or from down and up as well. Ah, so this is a concept of the tone, which focus more on the movement of the sound in different pitches of your natural pitch window. Your pronunciation of the tone might not have to hit the same frequency of pitch, but as long as the movement of the sound is the same, you pronounce the right thing. So now I would like to introduce you the concept of five Thai tones. In Thai language, there are five different tones. Start from the first one, middle tone or flat tone. Second one, low tone, or we use this 
diacritical mark to show that it's a low tone. Third one, falling tone. Fourth one, high tone. And last one, rising tone. So let's go step by step. Start from the first one, mid tone. Mid tone start from mid and end with mid. So, ma, ma. As long as you can maintain the line of the sound, the straight line of the sound in your mid pitch, that's fine. Second one, ka, low tone. From low to low. Look, low tone, from low to low, straight line. First one is mid, from mid to mid, no? so, second one, low to low. So the low part would be ma, ma. See, it's moving straight, okay? It's moving straight, ma. So again, first one, mid pitch, compare. Ma, ma. Ma, ma. When I mention low tone, it means low pitch, straight. Now let's continue ka, to number three. Falling pitch. It falls, so it starts from high and ends with low. So from high, let's say. Ma, ma, right? Ma, low, ma. Ma, ma, ma. This is the falling pitch. Ma. Start high and low. Start high and low. Fall down. Ma, ma. Again, let's review. First one, flat tone or mid tone. Ma. Second one, low tone, low pitch. Ma. Third one, falling hot, falling tone from high to low. Ma. Now you got three different tones. Now I want to skip the number four and move to number five from low pitch to high pitch here. This is called number five, rising pitch from low to high. You start low first. Ma. End with high. Ma, 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 ma. See, this is the rising tone. It's the opposite sound of the high, of the falling tone from high to low. Ma, 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 ma. All right, now you've got four pitches out of the five one. Now, the last one, number four, is a bit challenging because the movement of the sound is different from other. This one starts around mid and end almost high. It goes straight first, ma, and then at the end of the sound, it's, you know, the sound get high very, very dramatically. Ma, ma, ma. So it sounds like this word in English. When you say, huh, huh, huh. Start with the comfortable mid pitch, end with high, rapidly. Huh, huh. So that is number four. High pitch. From mid, straight, and then up high at the end. So. Again, let's start from the first one. Middle tone, mid to mid. Ma, low tone, low to low. Ma, falling tone, high to low. Ma, high tone, mid and rapidly high. Ma, and last one, rising from low to high. Ma, I know that many people has, um, how do you say, a challenge pronouncing these two, high and rising. As you can see, the starting point start in a different pitch. High tone start with mid pitch. Ma, ma, 
but the rising tones start with low pitch. Ma, 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 ma. You hear the differences, and that's all the five Thai tones. All right, now let's quiz together. Again, you already remember, right? Of mid to mid, this is mid tone. Low to low, this one is low tone. Falling tone from high to low is falling tone. Rising tone from low to high, this is a rising tone. And last one, high tone start from mid and go high like this. This is high tone. Start from mid to high. So now I'm gonna quiz you. The first one, ka, this one. Flat tone. Ma, ma, ma means to come. Ma, flat tone, to come. Next one, can you pronounce the same word with a falling tone for me? Falling from high to low. Ma, ma. Can you try? Ma means grandma. Next one, ka. the same word, but with high tone. So high tone is from mid straight and up high. Ma, 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 ma means horse. So look, ma, 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 and last one. With a rising tone, how do you pronounce it? From low to high. Ma, ma, ma is a dog. So look. Ma, to come. Ma, grandma. Ma, horse. And ma, a dog. So as you can see, same word, different tone, different meanings. Now, listen carefully. You can use the humming. When you hear something, you can just mm, hum it and imitate my sound. And guess which word am I speaking? For example, ma, hum it. Hmm, hmm. Now you know it starts from low and in with high. So it should be a rising tone, a dog. Now next one, can you try yourself? Ma, hum it. Hmm. What tone is it? Hmm. From high to low, falling tone. Ma, falling tone means grandma. And last one, listen carefully. Ma, hum it. Hmm. Mid to mid. This is a mid tone, which means to come. So that's it, I have for the concept of the tone. Now you learn five different tones and the technique of using this graph to visualize the movement of the sound as a tone. Also, use the humming technique to also detect what tone the word has. And that's it for the concept of Thai tones. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you think this video is really helpful, please let me know by commenting below. If you have other techniques to detect or to pronounce Thai tones, please share with me in the comment as well. In case you want to improve your Thai pronunciation to let other Thai people understand what you're trying to say, I would like to recommend this course Thai pronunciation series. You will learn Thai phonetics highlights in the simple ways. I will walk you through the lesson step by step. 
you will have listening practice, pronunciation practice, and also with a simple and great presentation with free tips and tools. So, don't forget to check out this course, Thai pronunciation series that make you sound more Thai and build up your confidence in speaking Thai. Check out this course on my website, www.bananathaischool.com or scan at this QR code. You will see the whole course curriculum and how to enroll in this course. I hope to see you in this course. Let's see you next Bye bye, Ka. I'm looking forward to welcoming you to the course and help you with your Thai pronunciation.